Rise and shine, sleepyheads! It is Saturday morning and we are out in Austin, Texas, garage sailing. Hey everybody, it is Margaret and we are going out garage sailing this morning. I may do a bit of a ride along today too because I think we're going to go out exploring in some little towns. So, I am in line for my cafe this morning and then we're gonna go hit a few garage sales. We had a really nice time yesterday. Randy's company had a, a work picnic. It was on a Friday. We went to a place called Valente Beach. Valente Beach? It was on Lake Travis and it was really nice. The kids had a really great time. Yes, and now we are hitting the Starbucks and there are bunches of garage sales out there. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna to try to get a lot of footage because I know you guys like to see the footage. Um, my, I am holding my phone at the moment. My doodad, my doodad that I usually stick my phone on fell off. So I won't be doing any like driving. Plus I'm in a new town. I can't drive and talk and all of that. So I have no idea where I'm going at all. So that's what's going on. And now coffee. Hey, the weirdest thing happened. So I'm using the yard sale treasure map and I'm pressing on it cause it'll take you right, you know, give you the directions. And so I followed the directions and then it didn't take me where it was supposed to take me. But it still took me to our garage sale, but it wasn't anywhere near the right address. It was like eight miles away from the right address. Not the same street, not the same number. And I kept trying to figure out why it was taking me here. And I couldn't, but I went ahead and came to the one it took me to thinking maybe it was the universe talking to me. No. Anyway, I didn't find anything. I didn't really record because there was just like mostly pillows and clothes and sheets and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go hit the other one. Maybe the universe was making sure I didn't get somewhere. Do 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 do. <laughs> mounted whatnot you're just propped up so don't fall <coughs> oh dusty hang on well I'll, I'll sanitize in a second let me show you what I got I spent five bucks <coughs> oh. something and it's in my system in my body I'm sanitizing now sanitizing 
So lots of vintage goodies, lots of fabric if I was buying fabric. Um, but I actually bought some stuff that I probably maybe shouldn't have bought. Um, but I love buying vintage stuff. I can't help it. So this is a really is in really good shape. It's a Coors like little cooler. So I figured for now I can just store stuff in it and clean inside. Come on. I mean, there's a name on it, but I can try to get that off, I think. But it's in awesome shape, so Coors Cooler. Um, I got a Rowenta steamer, which I have to look up, but Rowenta is a really good brand as far as like irons and things like that. Quilters love Rowenta. So I got the Rowenta steamer. You've got to be kidding me. This is a, there's a lady walking up. I see her in my town all the time. I'm pretty sure it's the same lady. Maybe it's not. It looks just like her. <clears throat> and then I got, again, Barney <laughs> cookie molds. They're new in package. They're in great shape. So certainly vintage. <clears throat> Sorry for the clearing of the throat. Something's in the air or got ugh, dust. Now, some of these may not be huge, you know, sellers, but they're, they're cool and fun to have. <laughs> and there's, you know, they're not too big. Um, these brand new sealed razors plus for me um, then there's a Mickey album actually it's a mini album <coughs> pardon me so it's a mini diary and then also a bunch of there's a bunch of loose Valentine's you know like um, Disney ones and Scooby-Doo but they're vintage ones Barbie so those will be fun so, oh my gosh. You're fun to know. <laughs> Go, Ken. It's your birthday. And then, and then, and then, what else? I got a pack of brand new Aladdin Valentines. And then all these really cool vintage cake topper type things. So some owls, like Halloween ones, ghosts, witches. Check out this witch. She's awesome. Okay. So, oh, and Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam cupcake toppers. How about that? All right, so lots of fun little goodies like that. Um, is that Tom and Jerry? It's a cat, anyway. I don't know. So, um, lots of fun stuff like that. I didn't even look at them all. There's the Liberty Bell. <clears throat> so, those are fun. Again, they're not probably going to be huge sellers, but I enjoy them. So, why not? Um, and then the Coors Cooler, super fun, super fun. So it was five bucks for all that. Now, something I have to get used to. I don't know the areas in Austin, so I'm still trying to learn the areas and they don't put signs out like at home. At home, they sign the mother out of everywhere. So you can't miss it usually. Here it's like, if you don't look at the garage sale or the yard sale treasure map, the only sign for this garage sale is on the tree in front of the house. What the heck? How are you supposed to find it? Need more sanitizer. Send more sanitizer. Hui, hello. We have another bottle in the house. <laughs> okay, I'm going to find another one. I don't know the areas around here, y'all, so. Keeping the faith. Keeping the faith. Yes. <laughs> I just ran into Emerson E-Money with his girl. Um, hit this garage sale. So I bought all the jewelry they had. Um, she made most of it, or all of it? She made it, the lady. Um, but it was a quarter a piece. So there's a ton in there, and a lot of them are already on cards. Um, some of it was made with like guitar picks, or some of it was made with just beads and stuff. But there was, I'll have to show you later. There's some cool pieces. But I figured, so I spent 20 bucks for the whole thing. Um, even if I don't sell something individually, then it can be something that 
either the kids can mess around with when they're trying to like tinker with steampunk stuff or um, I can throw in as a free gift into one of my you know Etsy sales like here's a you know free gift whatever so that was cool that was cool and she was really nice I was like well are you still making jewelry and she said yeah yeah but now I'm switching over to silversmithing I'm like oh my gosh I want to do that so she was giving me some lowdown on where to look for silversmithing classes all right, I'm gonna go see what, uh, what else I can see. Okay, this was an amazing garage sale, y'all. Okay, there was one issue with a homeboy getting a little too close. I was looking at stuff, and he was like over my shoulder. Even the lady that was running the garage, I was like, "Is are you with her?" And he said, "Nope, nope. I'm just trying to look at this stuff here." Uh, and she and I just said, "Yeah, you're getting a little close. I have personal space issues." Um, and the lady that was running the garage, I was like, "Yeah, you're getting a little close to her." I've been looking for a while before he came up, you know. Anyway, I spent $55. So there were two ladies running it. They had their own parts. Um, so I spent $15 on the stuff in this bag. And I'll do a, um, a haul video. I know everybody's like, you're doing another haul. You're buying more stuff. So this has got some cool beads and stuff. But this bat in here was what sold it for me. This bat, it's got these dangly bits on it. And <laughs> um, then this nice bracelet right here it's a hook and eye that was a buck from this stuff a really pretty cloisonne things are falling out nice cloisonne you can't see that you can't see that but it's all tangled y'all um this cloisonne one and then this is a sterling silver with onyx with moons it still has the tags on it and there is a silver and maybe i'll pack i've got to look it over heart isn't that awesome so easily make I mean this part was 15 so I'll easily make the money back on that and then look at this necklace oh my gosh so this has got all these dangling charms somebody made this so look there's a metal there's lockets on here there's some Bakelite pieces there's some this big locket with a um, cameo another one over here just really fun pieces this cameo one is amazing though this one. Is that cool? It's so cool. Um, so yeah, and got some little Bakelite pit pieces on there, which I think they are. I haven't rubbed them. I haven't rubbed them. Here's one that looks like Ganesh, like that. So, um, and that was a bit more. So, all of this was 15, which I think just on that one bracelet easily make the money back. And then the other stuff that I got from the other lady I spent 40 I spent 10 bucks on this but I am keeping this it is a writing desk so this part pops up and put stuff in here and then this part folds out and then it's got you know a little case in there this is and it's metal I just love it so I was thinking that you know I'm gonna keep it I might use it for a prop you know when I take pictures of lots or something 
but it's staying with me. It is staying with me. And then I also got from her a ton of jewelry and this cast iron piece, which also I'm planning on keeping. So it's this little cast iron ice box. And the lady, one, the, there were two ladies, you know, and she's like, this is something I had. And it, she was probably in her 80s is what I'm thinking. So I think this was something of hers. She's like, look it up online. Look it up. I said, I will. I will. So this was 10 bucks of the 40 that I spent. And then that desk thing was 10 bucks of the 40 I spent. I was willing to spend it because I loved it. And then the rest was just a ton of jewelry. Just when I said, how much is the jewelry? She said, cheap. I said, I like it. So out of the 40, that was 20. So the rest of the jewelry was 20. There's this piece, um, this, there's a ton. I can't, I don't think I can show it all, but it's just really cool, eclectic stuff. Like here's this one. I'm going to have to do a haul video. Another haul video. Here's this one. Really cool tribal earrings, stuff like this. So, and a whole big bag full of it. This necklace beaded with these coins on it. Look how amazing that is, right? Um, so just more and more and more of stuff like that. This brooch. I mean, it looks like high quality. Some of it costume, some of it, some of the enamels scraped off of that, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so lots and lots and lots. Here's another pair, a pair of earrings that I really liked. So all of that, you know, more, there's a big bag full here of stuff. You like that for 20 bucks. So you can see. I will show you. It's a black bag. I can sneak it in the house. My black bag of shame. I am maybe done because I've spent a lot of money. Uh, I've spent a lot of money. Randy's supposed to hook up the printer so that I can start getting things listed and, and you know restart my shop again. I'm gonna see how much money I have left before I try to hit any more garage sales. But come on, this is why I still do it. Okay. I still got 50 something dollars. I feel like I get the, the question like, why are you still buying? You're not, you're sh not listing right now. You're moving. My reason is that you still find really cool stuff. I'm finding cool stuff that when I get my shop up and running, I've got some really fun pieces and you just never know what you're going to find. It's that thrill of the hunt. I don't know why I feel like I have to keep justifying it. Maybe because I can't keep on having people criticize or maybe they're not being critical. Maybe they're just poking fun at me, but that's why because it's like the bug, the treasure bug. I got the treasure bug, you got the treasure bug. We need a treasure bug song. I got the treasure bug. Okay, here we go.
bucks is good. Okay. You know, and for all the crazy prices that they have on stuff, five bucks for all this jewelry. I'm looking in the wrong spot again. Five bucks for all this jewelry is amazing. I can't get over this house still. And the girls in there were like, it needs a lot of work, I know. I'm like, are you kidding me? It's awesome. It's so cool. And from the front of it, you wouldn't even think all the coolness that was happening inside. <sighs> okay, just drive away. Just drive away. All right, here we go. Five bucks, come on. <laughs> treasure bugs. I spent two bucks. I got this cool Flor Flor Florentia box. Um, this Italian box. And then she gave, she just threw this in. I just thought it was a cool thing. I don't even know what it is. Do you know what this is? Or is it just for decorations? I mean it's Tibetan? Thai? Something? Something. Eastern. So, there's that. So, again, um, it's got some condition issues. I might still try to sell it, or I might, again, I've been looking for things for props because I'm planning on doing more lots with some of the things I find. Um, so, that's there's two options for that right now. I think I'm going to go home because Randy wants to go on an adventure today. So, we are going to go... We used to do this when we first got married, before we had kids. We would just go take day trips and go exploring. It was a lot harder going out of Houston because it takes about an hour to get out of Houston. So around here, it's fast to get out of Austin. So I think we're going to try to take some more exploratory adventures around Austin. So now I need to go home and show him what I got and explain to him how much I got. I already told him. He's gonna be fine. He's gonna be 